Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today, I'm going to be going over all the news that's coming for the 4th anniversary because a stream just happened, so now I can finally talk about it. A lot of it is what we expected from the JP version, but there was one thing they added which is slightly different from what JP has, and JP does not have this feature, so that's cool. So I'm just going to go over all of them real quick. If you don't have time to watch the stream, you can definitely probably watch this. But if you have time to watch the stream, go watch it, because it was really fun, actually. I really liked it. So let's get into it. And also, if you end up liking this video, make sure to leave a like, comment about the anniversary, and subscribe to me if you want some more video stuff from me. So, we'll start with the 10-part campaign. Alright, so number one is the login bonus, which has 10 million QP. This is basically for logging in, it's up to 10 days, and day one, 10 million QP. Hopefully I got that right, that number right, I'm pretty sure that's 10 million. 100,000 friend points, 10 blaze of wisdom for, uh, 10 crystal foe for both of them right here. Um, for both sides, the attack, and I think it's, uh, is it, it's HP I think actually. I was gonna call it defense, but I don't think it's defense. 100 mana prism, 100 mana prisms, 1 rare mana prisms, corona foe, 1 of each, and then finally 10 summon tickets, very good. Um, I always do kind of get annoyed that it's 10, I wish they did 20, but it's fine. Uh, number 2, 1 half AP cost permanence for main quest part 2 chapters 1 through 3, which is lost belts 1 through 3, which is good because there's now main quest clear rewards added to extra missions, receive up to 30 quartz, it's basically you get 10 quartz when you beat lost belt 1, 2, and 3, which is right there, the 30. Um, number 3 is free quest AP cost 1 fourth until first clear, and clear rewards added. So for free quest clear rewards added to extra missions, receive up to 180, 180 quartz. Uh, for every 10 free quests you beat, you get 10 free quartz from uh, an extra mission, and that goes up to 180. So when you beat 180 free quests, you get 180 quartz. Uh, all daily quest AP costs one half all day ember gathering and training grounds unlocked, which is good because... One moment. Here it is. Um, it's good because they've added a bunch of new uh, servants to the friend point system. Jason, Paris, Gareth, Bartholomew, Roberts, Chen Gong... Charlotte Corday and Solom. Um, all very nice units to have, obviously. Um, and I can finally stop hoarding friend points because I'm going to be getting all these to hopefully NP5. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so that will kind of help train them up. And this will also help if you're brand new to the game as well. Uh, three, uh, 3x chance of super or great success enhancements for a limited time. Servant and Craft inf uh, Essence Inventory and Second Archive expanded. For Servant and Craft Essence, it is 50. For Second Archive, it is 100. Uh, servant Rank Up Quests uh, Special 4th Anniversary Edition. Oh yeah, let me pause right here. Okay, so they didn't tell us on the stream what the Strength Up uh, units are going to be, but I'm going to show you them right here. If you don't want to know what they are, you can probably go ahead a couple of minutes. I'll probably make a little marker just to say like, hey, this is when I reveal the uh, servant strengthening if you don't care. I assume everyone knows, but just to, hey, if you're someone who wants to be super in the dark about it and wait for them to renounce it, sure. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So day one, it should be Altera and Roma over here, who I cannot believe I forgot his name. It is Romulus. <laughs> I call him Roma because that he is Rome. He is all Roma. For day two, it is Mini Medusa Lily and Gorgon, aka Huge Medusa. Day three, it is Alexander and Iskandor. For day four, it is Medea Lily, and it's not Big Medea like you would expect. It's actually Ninja Boy. <laughs> it is really funny how they just refuse to do anything to Medea. Um, on day five, it is Bride Nero, and I cannot believe I'm forgetting your name right now because I actually really like you. Bodica, that's why I forget your name. Um, two really good updates. This one will be amazing once the second version of Romulus is released. Um, because this ability here that does extra damage to Roman servants is going to be extremely good. Day 6 is Mysterious Heroine X, and also Summer Martha. And on day 7, it is Maid Altar and Gawain. So, decent mixture of dudes. Very odd pairings on some days, but overall, perfectly fine to me. 
so let's continue on. Uh, eight, new command card enhancement system added and new login streak rewards added. So for the new command card enhancement system, what it is 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 that you're going to start getting these like little faux paws that are um, that you can use to increase the cards that you use, like the deck of cards, the five, um, up to 500 attack. I forget how much one paw gives it because I don't think they said it on the stream and I never bothered with the system on JP. Um, but it can bust up a card's at uh, attack up to 500. Um, and yeah, during the login, every along with a summon ticket, you'll also get like a little uh, tiny paw as well. So it's good to kind of have. Obviously, it's more for the units you already like to make them stronger. That's kind of how I view them. Would give it to whoever unit you want to get slightly stronger, who you really like, and kind of go for it. No need to <laughs> mid max it. Next, number 9, Saint Quartz Summon Update, 10 summons increased to 11 summons, so when you do a multi, instead of it being 10 summons, you get 11 summons, and if you do 10 singles, on the final single you'll get an extra free card, which is why I've been saving all my summon tickets to the, for this moment. Um, the number of Saint Quartz summons will be increased for the same amount of Saint Quartz. Also, the current um, banner for Babylonia will not be updated for this, so it will still have the 30 quartz, 10 summons rates, which is kind of sucky, but I understand why. And here's the GSSR, which will be released right when the maintenance ends, along with the actual summon banner. So I did an entire video on this, so if you want to see where I talked about what kind of side I'm going for, I don't really... Yeah, yeah, I did a video on the GSSR, but uh, <laughs> here's the kind of sides for it if you want to see it here. Banner 1 is the three knights classes plus ruler, avenger, moon, cancer, foreigner. Here you have Arthur, Benimaru, I'm not going to say all their names because that would take forever. So here you can just kind of look at them. You go right there, boy cheeky. Perfectly good mix of dudes. Get one of, uh, get one of them. And on here, it's the four cavalries plus Alter Ego Summons, which is the banner most people are summoning for it uh, in hopes of getting Arjuna Alter. But there's also Merlin and Scotty and King Asan and a whole bunch of other Kama, a bunch of other really good units on here besides just them. But I guess for most people, they would be wanting Arjuna Alter. But yeah, you can pay, you can only summon on one of them, so make sure to pick the right one for you. Uh, it costs 15 paid, so if you are free to play, you cannot summon on this. If you are free to play, you cannot summon on this. If you are free to play, you cannot summon on this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait for the free SSR ticket coming <laughs> later. That's the best that you'll get in terms of a free SSR. Uh, and finally, at least as far as this website is concerned, we have the actual summon unit, which is Leonardo da Vinci Rider. Uh, fantastic unit for if you're a big fan of Leonardo da Vinci. She's a fantastic writer servant, especially now. Even now she's extremely good, even though the meta doesn't really favor arts units a whole bunch. Uh, super strong. I love her AoE. I love the support she gives. It's kind of amazing. And then once Castoria meta kind of pops off, she is one of the best AoE uh, art servants, especially for writer. I think she is the main one for writer, at least in my eyes. She's the one I think of when I think of like, oh yeah, AoE Arts Writer Unit for Castoria stuff. That would be Leonardo da Vinci. She's just insanely good. Uh, perfectly, perfectly accepting for an anniversary unit. That's what I'll say. And I'll be summoning with my brother when the time comes. And these are also the limited time craft essences that come with her. A Walk in the Park, Morning Glory, and Sunny... Sun <laughs> I was gonna call it Sunny Dinner, but it's Sunday Dinner. And there's more stuff, so give me a minute. Okay, so yeah, remember when I said the thing they added that was exclusive to the NA, NA server that the server... Bleh, the NA server that JP server does not have? This is it. There's now English subtitles added to the servant enhancement screen. So we can finally know what the hell they're saying when they get fed EXP. <laughs> Which is nice, unfortunate for all those servants that I already leveled up as someone who already has their box basically at full. But hey perfectly fine. I like this update. It's coming way late, like four years later, but um, I'll gladly take it. And some other stuff is... Okay, memorial quests. So these are back similar to last year in structure. Um, doing them will allow you to get these tickets. You'll also get normal summon tickets and also this... Um, I think it's a command code? Yeah, it looks like a command code to me. 
Um, but you can also get these tickets to get exclusive craft essences. They're really only there for the art, so pick the ones you want most. They all basically do the same. If you're a collector, you have to do this whole insane process to get technically all of them in your collection, but you can't actually own them all, but you can't have them. There's their data on your side, I guess, is the right way of saying it. So make sure to pick the units you want. I'm personally getting Bunyan and Quetz because they're they're my girls. You're going to have to rep them hard. That's how you do it. Um, so that's coming. So, let me see. Yeah, Detective Foe is coming to the, the Mana Prism shop. You can also get 10, uh, 10 tickets this way as well. There's also a Rare Prism Exchange. This is a limited time one, different from the one we just got. And it will disappear on, not on August 14th, because it's the JP side of the game I'm looking at. Um, yes. That's basically it, except for one final thing, which is right here. Uh, we're getting 60 St. Quartz. Along with the 30 for the stream itself, so that's 90 quartz. They added it up on stream and they said that's a total of 300 uh, quartz from all the things you're doing. So if you do absolutely everything, which is complete Lost Belts 1 through 3, uh, <laughs> um, um, do all 180 free quests plus this 90, does that equal up to 300? Now I'm doubting if it equals up to 300, but they said it was 300, so I'm just going to go with what they said. So. That's basically everything for the anniversary. I'll see you guys when the actual anniversary starts. My summer video probably won't be up immediately because it's a pain in the ass, but I'll figure something out. But until next time, everyone, happy anniversary, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out.